Hi people, welcome to Trim in County Mead and I'm just going over here to show you uh, the biggest Norman castle in the whole of Ireland. It's a ruin, like um, you know, it, 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 it's a ruin, you know, but it's the biggest Norman castle in the, ho in, in the whole of Ireland. Here's new houses here too, look, they're all new houses in there. More new houses over there. That's what I'm saying. All these towns within 30 miles of Dublin City um, are all being <laughs> doubled in population because, as I said to you, um, uh, people can't afford houses in Dublin. But now that they've come down here, the prices are going up supposedly with, due to demand and they're outrageous prices down here now as well. So it's bullshit really, it's it's greed, pure greed. There's not one of these houses worth the money that um, of the mortgage, do you know what I mean? Not one of them. And uh, they will say, oh yeah, they are, they're not, they're not. 30 year mortgages on people, imprisoning people. Crazy stuff. Anyway. Uh, I just show, I want to show you this this Norman Castle over here now. Well, people, welcome to Trim in County Mead. And here it is. Here is the Trim Castle, the biggest Norman castle in the whole of Ireland. So we'll go over and investigate that now in a minute. So remember I was talking uh, earlier there at, out at Bective about the Bine Valley and all the historical places along the Bine Valley. Well look here, here, here's um, a map of all the places, look. So you have Kells High Crosses, that's in, in Kells. You have Old Merifont Abbey, that's uh, not too far outside the town of Drada. You have Monaster Bice, the Round Tower, and um, that's a Celtic cross there. That's also outside Drada. Lawrence's Gate, that was one of the gateways of Drada Town, right? Um, and then outside um, the town of Drada, not too far outside it, is the Battle of the Bine. A big house and a big parkway, and there is actually what would you call it, a museum here to do with the Battle of the Bion, oh sorry, yeah the Battle of the Bion in 1690. Then look, this is where I am here now, in Trim Castle. Then you have the Hill of Tara, which is the High Kings of Tara, that's really famous. Um, Loch Crew Cairns, I have, a I have a video about them there. Um, they haven't got here, which I thought they, oh, the Bruna Bonia, that's the, the burial chamber out at Newgrange, outside Drada as well. And the Hill of Tara, something else I'm looking for here now. Right, so you've Slain Castle there. But I don't have anything about uh, the Hill of Slain. Like, the Hill of Slain is where St. Patrick lit the Paschal Fire. So, um, anyway, what do you think of the castle? It's very impressive, isn't it? So the film um, Braveheart, part of the movie, was shot here. Look, you see they, they built up timber on top of the stonework. Look. Uh, Braveheart, a movie starring Mel Gibson, was filmed in Trim during the summer of 1994. Gibson played the Scottish hero, William Wallace, with Sophie Marceau, is it? Patrick McGoohan, Brendan Gleeson, and a host of well-known Irish actors were among the cast. So this is the Barbican Gate. 
So an elaborate system of lifting bridges, gates and overhead traps gave the garrison great control over those entering the castle. The arrangement of plunging loops demonstrates the builders knowledge of the military requirements of defending archers. By the middle of the 13th century the design of castle gates was further developed and a twin tower gatehouse with a passage between the two towers became the standard. See it there now look. See the horse coming in the man and then you had the moat around the castle and look on top of the so that part remains this remains that part remains that's gone that's gone the top of the main castle is gone top of that is gone but you have all the rest of it look see it there look that's it there so that building there what did he say 14th century or 17th century and look at it, it's still in use today. I don't know if it's someone's home there. I see a car outside it. Looks cool. So it's just, it's saying up there that a mathematician, William Rowan Hamilton, lived here as a boy uh, 1805 to 1865 the originator of quanter neons whatever that means i don't know i love the door it's gorgeous there's another nice picture of that um tower bell tower cool wow so this is a mural on the wall here to do it the army of Oliver Cromwell attacking St. Mary's Abbey, Trim Church in 1649. Image taken from window of St. Patrick's Church, Trim. Wow. There's that bell tower, I think there, is it? Wow. Pretty impressive, I have to say, pretty impressive. So, so this bell tower was part of um, a friary, in other words, a monastery, and the rest of it was uh, destroyed in one of the wars, you know. I don't know whether it was Cromwell, Cromwell's army, they done it, but anyway. Okay. Look at this. I know it's minute detail, but look at it. Little pattern on it. Just a stone. See the way they, again, they carved it in here. Carved it in on this side. They have a little, how would you call it here? You know, look. Look at the design even there. I don't know. I just find them people amazing. Amazing. Wow, that's real daunting when you look up there. Holy shit. Wow. Some height. Some height. Wow. Love it. Fantastic, actually. I'm not on the farm for making a video today. I might come back again and make uh, and, and, and do it properly. Um, I'm not on bad farm. I'm just not on the farm for making a video. So I'm kind of rushing around here. Um, and talking shit really, you know. So to go into the castle, an adult is five. Is that five euros? Yeah, five euros. Right, hello people. It's getting dark here in uh, Trim, in County Mead, so... The GoPro is not great in low light, so I'm going to put an end to the to the trim video here because um, I'll come back again because uh, I'm kind of rushing around here doing this video and I'm kind of making the balls out of it really. Um, and plus the fact um, 
I'm not in the form for making videos. Not, not in bad form, not, not in the mood for making videos. So I'm going to leave it at that and come back then and come back over and do a proper, proper video of um, trip in County Meath. Um, so stay tuned. <laughs> See you then, right? Well, hello people. It's a week later and I'm back again in Trim to finish off the video. Um, it's cloudy, there has been showers of rain there, but um, I'm far more relaxed now because I know I've got a lot more time before it gets dark and um, to finish off the video. So there's, I see car parks all over the place here. Um, and yeah, so this, this, this is also a pay and display town you have to pay to park which I think really is a bit ridiculous because you know personally speaking I think that people visiting another town then you can say sure how will you know who's local and who's visiting um, but anyway yeah so I I just think that it's a cash cow and oh shit Donna you're going the wrong way there sorry about that um, I think it's a cash cow, you know, and maybe the money goes into the town, that's fair enough, right? But um, I personally just think that uh, it's not fair on people. Like, to me, I, like 20 years ago, there was no, no such thing as paying display in towns, but now it's, it seems to be in every town in the country. Well, I'll go up here anyway and there's a car park around the corner here I want to go up to so I'll go up here and I'll park my car around the corner here so this is another paying display area here now so it's pretty full today right so I'm back in the town here again now for the second time and I know it's threatening more rain here but I don't really mind I've got an umbrella in the back of the car there so the last day it was over here um, I went into the information centre beside the castle and there was a lovely woman in there and um, I got this leaflet offer of all the historical sites in the town of Trim and I'll just show you here now so there's a little map just there of the town and it's all numbered of where all the sites are right and you have like for instance you know, there's information about Trim Castle and all of that. So let me see now. Um, yeah, so there's a walkway along the bine here that I want to go to because it leads down to more historical sites way down there. I've only just remembered as I'm walking back to Trim now that that car park I parked my car in was the pay and display car park and sure and I forget all about getting the ticket so I never got a ticket in my life and I'd be seriously disappointed if I get one when I go back to the car park stupidity Don stupidity well hello people welcome back from the walk um, got my hair chopped there during the week. Anyway, um, remember I was giving out about the pay and display in all these towns and um, this car park here is pay and display and I totally, totally forgot about walking over to the machine there and getting the ticket. And now it's my first time ever in my life I've got a fine. Right. That's it my friends, my first time in my life ever getting a fine. So that was shit, wasn't it? I better pay that my friends, better pay that. Right, before I go home, I am going to have another cup of tea. Why? Because I want one. And um, so I bought a flask, hot water in here. Oh, do you know something? Hold on a second. 
I can't have the tea. I can't have the goddamn tea. You know why? Because I forgot to bring tea bags. Shit. Shit. I have to bring in sandwiches and everything, but turkey sandwiches. Uh, I got the turkey in um, Lidl and lovely Hovis brown bread sandwiches. So. Oh, why did I not go over and bloody get that ticket over there? Holy shit. Can't believe it on that, my friends. I can't believe it on that. But anyway. That's it from uh, Trim in County Mead. It's actually a, a nice town and little cafes and restaurants over here too. And it, it, it's it's very historical, as you can see, all all the, all the great ruins and the Trim Castle, the biggest Norman uh, ruined remake castle in the whole of Ireland, uh, played a part in the film Braveheart. Um, and also, also um, Jonathan Swift, who wrote Gulliver's travels spent a bit of time over here i don't think actually in the, well he could have been in the town but he was more in the place kind of just outside the town of trim but he they they claim him as, as, as one of theirs too um jonathan swift even though he was born in dublin well hello i'm back in trim again for the tour time because um the film I done there on the second visit, I pressed the button on the side of the GoPro by mistake and I filmed three quarters of what I filmed that day uh, was done in time warp mode. So I had to come back again. So uh, I'm just going to try and finish the video off here today. Uh, it's a lovely day today. It's 7 degrees centigrade and um, yes, and make sure when you visit the trim to get your pay and display or you'll end up like me when I forgot the last day with a 40 euro fine so I paid a 40 euro fine um, yeah so just make sure that when you come to trim that all the car park space within the town is pay and display okay um, right so let's go and uh, let's go and, we, and, and, and I'll walk around the town and stuff okay So here is um, a monument to um, the Duke of Wellington uh, and you may ask what the hell is a monument to the Duke of Wellington doing in an Irish town? Um, like Duke, the Duke of Wellington was a man that defeated uh, Napoleon in the Battle of Waterloo, right? Um, anyway, two years after the Battle of Waterloo, the townspeople of Trim here erected this monument in memory of him because he was born in Dublin and he was educated here in Trim. Um, so yeah, and it's still standing here people, it's still standing here. Um, and of course, the, of course the main reason why um, the Duke of Wellington monument is here, so you have, you have to remember again that there was the British Empire, like they invaded an awful lot of countries in the world, and Ireland was no exception. Like they ruled over us for eight hundred, for seven hundred years. So um, that's why that monument is here. So that's the Duke of Wellington, uh, erected by the people of Trim in eight, 1817, two years after the Battle of Waterloo.
It's amazing. There's such a small town centre. There's loads of pubs here. I don't know how many. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pubs. Amazing. All the pubs. I'm going to go in here to the tourist information centre because there's models of um, the, <coughs> the castle and various ruins inside it. So I'll go and have a look here. Bows and arrows. Look at the helmet. Wow. Imagine getting killed by that look. An axe thing and a pointy part here. Look at the helmet. Or or a spear. Imagine getting killed by the spear. Look at that. So there's the better mo model of Trim Castle and the walls around it. Very, very good. Wow. Look at that. The joints on the hands. The swords, don't touch the swords as ace, okay? Crossbow. So saying, see the crossbow there, it's saying it could fire an arrow um, 380 yards at a speed of 127 miles per hour. So if you're in Trim, come in here to the uh, Trim Information Centre beside the castle, it's well worth a visit. Right, there's just one negative there about the town of Trim. Lovely, lovely town, I have to say. Nice little town, nice streets in it. But this is the third time I've been in Trim. And just walking around the street in the centre of the town here, there's just no let up in the traffic. It's constant. And I find that um, an irritant. Uh, maybe to a lot of people that's minor, but to me, I just felt it was an irritant and uh, it's off-putting, so I didn't like that. See this cannon here? So this cannon here was captured during um, the Crimean War. The British um, obviously captured this ca cannon or confiscated this cannon and they brought it back with them and they gifted it to the town of Trim because I think a lot of the people of Trim or something, maybe the events, maybe um, some people here uh, went as soldiers in the Crimean War, and I, I don't know, but it was gifted to the town of Trim. So it's 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 um, it's it's, a, it's it's from Crimea, and it's a, a Tsar, Russian Tsar, um, because it does a Russian Tsar crest on it here. I think it's up there. Yeah, you see, just along there. So that cannon has come all the way from. Um, it has come from. Uh, Russia. I just look in there. This is <laughs> there's people there in, the, in I just have a turn around there and there's people in their cars, right? And they're sitting in the cars and they're looking at me, talking into the camera. Uh, there's more people there doing the same. As if you had um, ten heads, you know what I mean? Anyway.
the only remaining medieval gateway of the walled city in Trim. Um, that was built in 1359. So going back to 30, 1359, all Trim Castle, of course, and the town of Trim was surrounded by a wall. And there was um, gateways at different um, areas coming in, leading into the town. And that's the only remains of a gateway called Sheep's Gate. Um, there's another view across the river of the castle. It looks kind of pretty um, imposing there from across here. So this is the remains of Newtown Trim Cathedral from 1202. Imagine that, from 1202. Um, and there's still a good lot of it here, well, some of the walls that are still remaining. And when you look at them, I just find it incredible, incredible. Look, there's a little, I don't know if you can see that column just there. See that column going up there? There's a plane flying overhead there as well. Anyway, there you go. Incredible. There's an impression of the interior office, what it was like. Oh, the big high windows. Those back ones there, just, just, just here. Had one, two, three windows there, just down there. Big, three big, huge windows. And then there was arches on the roof, you can see all along there. Amazing. You know, I have a sister, right? And um, if, if I brought her over here in the walk, she'd love the walk, okay? And if I started standing here and saying, look, start telling her about this ruin here, like, and the history of it, and how amazing it is. She just, she just wouldn't get it. She just goes, yeah, right, yeah. Yes, a rune, yeah, so, so what? She's just one of them kind of people, you know? But I think it's absolutely incredible, incredible. From 1202, built in 1202, and a big part of it is still standing, amazing. Here is, um, this here is called the Tomb of the Jealous Man and Woman, named locally the Tomb of the Jealous Man and Woman, because um, if you look here at the tomb, the two, um, what would you call it, like, you see the image, the bodies here, look, of, of the man and the woman, they don't touch one another, so they call it, uh, the tomb of the jealous man and woman. And there's a sword, look, in the middle there, a coat of arms sword in the middle. So they were, um, they, it was Sir, Sir Lucas Dillon and his wife, Lady Jane Bat's tomb, is known locally as the tomb of the jealous man and woman, since the two stone figures do not t touch each other at all. So I think this is also dating back to the 12th or 13th century here. I'm just laughing here. This farmer here that owns this field certainly doesn't want anybody going into his field. Look. One lock that doesn't work. Well, I do nothing really, right? 
two locks, three locks, four locks, five locks, six locks. Yeah, I don't think that guy wants anybody coming into his feeling. I think that's very funny. What did I say? Six locks? Wow. Madness, madness. Now, some people claim that this bridge I'm walking across here is the oldest stone bridge in Ireland. Uh, built for the, the horse and cart way back. Now, I was talking to the, to the person that owns the pub here or works in the pub here and he says I don't know about that he says but it's certainly certainly one of the, one of the oldest bridges in the country but online they're, they're claiming this to be the oldest bridge in the country so in here is this was um, a hospital a lepers a lepers hospital so Priory of St. John the Baptist, the remains of a hospital founded in the 13th century by the Crutchet Friars. So there you go. Lambs, are you as well in there? Yeah, are you well? Yeah, hello. Are you going to say hello? You're not saying hello, no. Okay, okay, right. People are going to stand in here under in a bit of shelter under the tree here. It's a bit of a shower passing by, right? So, um, that's it, my friends, finally from Trim and County Mead. I hope you've enjoyed um, the video of Trim. Um, this is a fantastic walk that the people of Trim have um, built, if you if you like, in Trim here along the River Bine. I think it's called the Trim Bine Walk. I mean, look at the size of this field. It's a huge field, huge, right? And they have a footpath along the Bine River Bine, all down to the ruins that I was in down there, down down to Regan's pub. And the footpath continues around the perimeter of the field, crosses the roadway just out here, and continues into the next big huge field beside the castle. And it's brilliant because anybody who's disabled say they can't that they're incapacitated, they can't walk. Um and they're in a wheelchair or they're in mobility scooters this is an excellent place to come and could you just imagine what it'd be like over here in the summertime it's lovely and warm and sunny um just brilliant and then you know not only do you have the sheep here and the little lambs and the nature and the old ruins from centuries gone by and then you walk down there and you can call into that pub which is claiming to be the second oldest pub in Ireland and you can get a cup of tea or a coffee or a snack or whatever and then walk just come back along either the roadway the roadway has a whole footpath all the way back or back through the field here and or along the river back into Trim Town and it's excellent so I, I commend the people of Trim for that uh, I hope that the 40 euro fine I paid for not displaying my pay and display because I stupidly forgot about it the last time I was here. I hope that that 40 euros is gone into the town. It's benefiting the town of Trim. I hope maybe it's going towards maybe a seat or something uh, on this walkway. So um, yeah, so that's it from Trim, the heritage town. I'm going to rename Trim, Trim the pay and display town because you have to, get your ticket my friends pull it onto your car or else you'll be if you're like me you'll have to pay a 40 euro fine okay that's it from trim people um 
keep safe and thanks for watching and stay tuned stay tuned because you don't know where i'll be uh in the next video i've no idea where i'm gonna go right so thanks for watching and i'll see you all again bye there's a lo lovely rainbow here in this is look it's not lovely wow the field of sheep and little lambs old runes from the 12th century and a fantastic rainbow in the sky now what more could you ask for bye see you